can't have their phones, they can't come, because we need to just come, come with me. Everybody on this table that has a smartphone, we are going to be with you. Okay? Now, scan, just this box does not need Wi Fi, I'll show it to you later. It doesn't need Wi Fi, it really doesn't need electricity.
and try for many years to be able to do that. My view is instead of TikTok, instead of uh, video games, just be studying every time. You can learn Russian, you can learn French, you can learn local languages, all of that. Works. So it's a great, a very important resource for you. Now let me, I was speaking to uh, the numbers, I was talking about uh, the, the support, support that I gave earlier. Uh, and uh, I had uh, the best football team, girls football team in so is this one. So just like I came for nets for the school, for the district, I'll do the same here. Some nets and football. <laughs> Arsenal. We become Arsenal players. Isn't it? Yeah. We either win or they lose. Yeah. There is no option. We either win or they lose. We shall, we shall, we shall be sure that, that support is done. And then secondly, what I, I, I also, and with my colleague here, Marcos, uh, I know you started, uh, you put in all your effort, time comes to university, and some people don't have the funds. Uh, uh, to go to university, especially those that are not in government scholarship. So I will ensure the, the best student from this school who has not got on government scholarship because they are already being paid for, we shall ensure that we pay their school fees in university.
And so that mindset and love for Uganda, that dedication to work and support Uganda to become first world. I don't believe we should only think about middle income, upper middle income. We should be first world in our country. You young people can help drive our country to become first world. But the most important thing, love your country, have the mindset, particular mindset, if you get a job somewhere and you are given a, 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 a task to do, make sure it is done to the best of your ability. Uh, so really, I know that you are driving your country forward. Because just imagine that statistic, 2050, we are 100 million people. We have to have jobs for these people, we need to industrialize our country, we need to add value to our products. You know, most of the things people have here, they import them from other countries. We have cotton in our country, but we import clothes from somewhere else. Why should we do that? Let's add value to our products here, let's industrialize. So that mindset of being part of that journey to industrialize our country, we should even be thinking of it now at your age, at your level, because that's the only way we are going to create meaningful jobs for our people, stop exporting raw materials. Imagine you produce coffee here in Kisoro, and then you import Nescafe from Germany. The coffee is ours here. Why don't we add the value to the coffee here and have Nescafe made here instead of importing it? Because when you send raw coffee outside, someone else in the factory is having a job to make it, to make it Nescafe. That's a job that has been exported somewhere else. That job should stay here in Uganda. So that's why I believe even if at this level, you're S1, S2, S3, it's important to have that ingrained in our people here. Why, why buy products from outside when they are produced in our country? So next time you are going to a shop to buy stuff, look at something made in Uganda. Why not? Why not wear that in Uganda? Because someone else in your country has, has a job based on adding value to our own material. So I encourage you, what they call statistical, I am insignificant. Insignificant, statistically insignificant. Because 80% of the people of Uganda are these young people. We have, you have to take the mantle and love your country because you can, this country is not going to be uh, developed by people from outside. You are the people who are going to transform Uganda into a first world country. It seems far, but you have to start something. I believe the anchoring that you have, you people are the ones who are going to lead in this country. May I look forward to one of these days, years down the road, I am also looking at a blessed Director General of URF and Mrs. It will happen. I started throughout my school in Uganda, huh? so it is possible. My father was a policeman. Same issues that we have. No money, nothing, but hard work and you find a way to get there. So it is, it is not, a, it's not difficult. It's just being anchored properly, real fundamentals, hard work, and love your country. Ensure you love your country, Uganda. And love all Ugandans. And of course, Africa. We are, we are not in an island. We all will depend. If, if we become an industrial hub, for the region. We depend on markets around us for the products we produce. So you also think about Africa. Huh? Africa as your market, as your brothers and sisters. Very important. So imagine you produce uniforms in Uganda. They need them in Congo. So imagine the factory has an extra 50 million people in Congo somewhere. They need the uniforms in Tanzania, in South Sudan, in Rwanda, in Burundi. So don't think about only 50 million people in Uganda. You serve 300 million people in the region. So even when you are crafting your goals and your ambitions, think of a wider ambition. Think that you can take over Africa. Think that you can penetrate the markets of Africa.